On this Gaudete, Rejoice Sunday, we hear from John the Baptist, a very important figure in our Advent journey. The Gospel begins, There was a man sent by God to give testimony to the light. John the Baptist is an important role model for all of us because, like John, we are to lead others to rejoice in the light of Christ. John recognized that he was not the light, but that his job was to point to the light, to use his voice to give testimony to the truth of Christ among us. One of my favorite stories about reflecting the light of Christ is from the author Robert Fulcom. He tells the story about a time he attended a seminar on Greek culture that was led by the Greek philosopher and scholar Alexander Papadouros. At the end of this two-week conference, Papadouros closed the last meeting saying, Anybody have any questions? For a moment, there was silence. Then Robert Fulcom raised his hand and asked, Dr. Papadouros, what is the meaning of life? Well, laughter kind of filled the room and people began to stir to go home and Papadouros raised his hands and he said, I will answer your question. And then taking out of his wallet, he retrieved a mirror that was the size of a quarter, a mirror that he had found as a young boy where a German army motorcycle had wrecked. The mirror became a new toy for Papadouros. He was fascinated with his ability to reflect light into the darkest places with that tiny mirror. Papadouros then said, As I grew older, I learned that reflecting light is not just a child's game. It is a metaphor with what I am called to do with my life. I have come to understand that I am not the light, nor am I the source of the light, but I can reflect the light, the light which we know to be faith, truth, understanding, knowledge. These truths, this, these lights in our lives are always there, but it will not shine in the darkest places unless I reflect it. This is what I have come to understand is the meaning of life. And then he took that mirror and he reflected the sun's light onto the participants in the meeting. This is the truth of what John the Baptist lived by as he gave witness to Jesus, the true light of the world. John said, I am not the light, but that he has come to testify to the light, to the word of God. At the time of our baptism, each of us received the light of Christ and the mission to reflect the light of Christ through the very witness of our lives. Building on this image, St. Augustine speaks of John the Baptist as a voice, but that Christ is the Word, a Word that lives forever. If you take away the Word, the meaning, what is the voice? It's just rambling sounds. Where there is no understanding, there is only meaningless sound. St. Augustine says, when I want to speak to you, I look for a way to share with your heart what is already in my heart. Then I use my voice to share the word in my heart with you. The voice passes away, but the divine word, the word, remains forever. John said of himself, I am a voice crying out in the desert. John knew he was not the Word, but he used his voice to announce the living Word. God's Word will not take root 
in our hearts unless we prepare the way, unless we are open to receive that living word. On this Gaudete Sunday, we have heard several invitations to rejoice. The message John the Baptist offered was a cause for rejoicing as he pointed the way to Christ. In our first reading, the prophet Isaiah was a cause for rejoicing as he spoke to the exiles who were suffering from the invasion of the Babylonians. They had been through so much. Their temple had been destroyed. Their best and brightest had been shipped away. Their fields had been salted so that they would not produce anything. Their way of life was totally crushed. The prophet Isaiah was sent by God to offer hope in the midst of darkness, to bring the word of God to the people in need. Isaiah came proclaiming glad tidings to the poor a message to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to captives, all of this a cause for rejoicing. In this Advent season, we proclaim the truth of Emmanuel, God with us. The joy of the Lord can be found each time we profess our belief in the real presence of Jesus in the Eucharist. We are given a gift that many have longed to receive. Indeed, today we must proclaim with the witness of our lives that God is the joy of our soul. Even in the face of suffering we experience in this life, we have hope, we have joy, because God himself has given to us his covenant of love, his living word that is eternal. You and I are not the light, nor are we the source of the light, but we can and we must reflect the light of Christ within our households, in our places of work and play, in a world that has grown weary and worn. Your generous heart, your hospitality to a stranger, the smile that you wear, the enthusiasm that you radiate, the hope that you inspire, the faith you profess with your voice, the words of forgiveness that you share, the kindness that you practice, all of these will help reflect God's word, the light of Christ to others. And that is what it truly means to rejoice in the Lord.